Angus goes to college. Angus will go to college when he, and only he, decides to go to college. So our walk was a little bit disjointed or awkward this morning because it was garbage day. There was some trash in the road which Angus did not want to leave. It provoked him to do a good bowel movement close to the neighbour's front door on Bedford, but then, at the corner of Sherry Street, he refused to proceed either through the neighbourhood or to the park. He pulled to go back to the trash, so I rolled the garbage bin on top of the trash so that he had no access, and Angus was most unhappy with me. It was by bribing him with the promise of treats back home that we returned to recalibrate our journey today. And it was a wonderful journey up Ash Avenue to Central Campus. He seemed to know the way, to just follow the road until we hit Glen. He had a lot of energy and could have run non-stop all the way there, but then followed, or rather led, the pattern when he realised my habit is to walk up the hill and then run down the hill. He stopped occasionally on the way to campus, first staying a while on the way going to the middle school as it appears there are vermin underneath the stairs and smelling that big painted rock. We turned around at the biomedical sciences building where, as expected, because he likes smelling carrion, he was most fascinated at those particular dumpsters. He could have stayed longer, but was alarmed by a workman who were, thankfully, ditching things into the dumpster and subsequently making too loud a noise for Angus to stick around. He rejected going near the cloistered hallways, and rather, his nose led us to the cafeteria, but it was closed. He reacted to his reflection when looking down a drain, and loved rolling on multiple clean lawns. On our way back, he didn't care much that we were walking over a bridge. I guess car traffic is not as interesting as walking over a river when last we were on a bridge. He was not interested in rolling on the lawns of any of the fraternity or sorority houses, but did stop to smell the remains of one party. He startled a bunny out of an egress window and was most excited to try and find it and then smell around that house some more. By the time we got to Oxbridge Road, we were both walking fairly slowly, and though it was longer, we returned home via Tormy Road, where Angus got a ton of smells and passed a shaggy and polite dog in Kalani. When we reached your house, he pulled to keep going. Luckily, the garbage bins had to be collected, so that was the point where I began telling Angus that he can go inside and get some toys and treats. He was pulled numerous times away from drinking water on the road. When he returned, after harness scrubs, fetching toys, and then spontaneously playing tag, he practically finished his water bowl. As bowls were washed, Angus settled on top of his blankie, so I couldn't tuck him in so I rather wrapped him like a burrito. He loved it.